In this video, you will finally get an answer to the question, which wine glass do I really need? And are Riedel Crystal wine glasses really worth all the money? Stay tuned until the end because I'm also going to share with you my very favorite wine glass that I simply can't live without. If you want to relish life through wine, then join me and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you'll know when I have a fresh video on Thursdays. I'm Deanie and I've been teaching wine for 20 years, even to British royalty. And I'm sought out because of my fun way of doing wine. And I'm gonna share that with you today so that you can take your enjoyment of wine to the next level, regardless of which wine glass you choose. Some of the most famous wine glasses are crystal Riedel wine glasses, and they are made by a family that's in their 11th generation of making luxury glassware. This is the Riedel family of Austria. These wine glasses can sell for thousands of dollars a glass, so it really begs the question, do you really need them? Does it change your enjoyment of wine? To help you understand, there are a few things that I think about. The first thing is, does crystal itself make a difference versus glass or plastic or other materials? Does the shape of the wine glass make a difference? And does the Riedel brand of crystal make a difference? So we're gonna look at all three of those issues. When it comes to crystal versus glass or plastic or any of the other materials that I've seen wine glasses come in, I think that it absolutely does make a difference. And if you haven't already done this, do this little experiment at home the next time you have some wine open and go ahead and taste that wine in a plastic cup in a water drinking glass versus a wine glass. Or you could even try wine from a can uh, like this video that I did. You can get the link up there to wine in a can. And if you want, you can always go for lead-free crystal if that's an issue for you. I bet you're gonna be able to tell the difference. Plastic. Glass. Crystal. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. Crystal is by far the best. What I look for when I taste the wine is to have as thin a glass as possible. And that's one of the things that crystal allows you to do because it can be very strong and also be very thin at the same time. What I find is when I have a thicker glass or I have plastic or stainless steel that might have some of its own smells itself, that the wine itself gets muted. And that's not exactly the experience that I'm going for when I'm drinking wine. Go ahead, try the experiment for yourself and see whether or not you think that the crystal makes a difference. I think so. Now for the second consideration of the shape of the glass, I actually went to a Riedel wine glass seminar where they set us up with eight different shapes of glasses and we got to taste the same wine from each of the glasses. And we went around and we did this with several wines. And what I did find is that the shape of the glass does make a difference for how the wine tastes in your mouth. This happens probably for a few reasons. For one thing, um, the shape up at the the top of the glass itself is going to determine how the wine gets placed on your tongue. The other thing that you're going to find about the shape is that it can be kind of functional. So um, when you have, let's say, a red wine that really needs to aerate and open up in order for you to be able to smell it some more, these kinds of glasses that have a bigger bowl at the bottom of them work really well because they allow you to swirl the wine around and it allows the wine to aerate before you drink it. For a white wine, a lot of times we serve a white wine in a little bit of a smaller glass, and this is so that you'll get a smaller pour or less wine in there, and it can stay colder longer. You've seen champagne flutes. This is shaped this way to be able to keep as much of the bubbles in the glass as long as possible. And then you'll see I have these port wine or dessert wine glasses that are so pretty like this, and this is meant to help 
hope you have just a small serving of those wines that are sweet and um, tend to be the ones that you regret the next morning because they give you a big headache. So having the smaller glass is a good reminder just to have a small amount of those. The tricky thing is that in a room full of wine experts, none of us could agree on which was the best glass for any particular wine. We all had different preferences and experiences. So unless you have a very strong view of what glass you prefer for your Syrah versus your Pinot Noir, I don't particularly think it's worth the money to go out and invest in buying a lot of different shapes of wine glasses. From an entertaining perspective, it does make for a beautiful dinner table to have all different shapes of glasses at the dinner. I will give you that. And when I was a sommelier at a restaurant, certainly I loved to set up rows of glasses when somebody else was going to be washing the dishes afterwards. Now with two young kids, there's no way I'm gonna take the time to wash all of those glasses. But I'd love to know from you do you guys think that serving wine in various glasses of the night is something that you would do or would you just stick to one kind of glass for the whole night? Comment below and let me know. So that brings us to our third consideration of is the Riedel brand of crystal really worth spending the extra money or choosing amongst all the other glass options out there? I honestly can't say that personally I find a big difference. I mean, here for example, I have a Spiegelau uh, Burgundy wine glass and I also have the Riedel burgundy wine glass and they look very similar to me when i taste the wine out of both of them i don't really see a big difference and in fact riedel now owns the spieglau brand of glassware and then there's other really fantastic glasses out there like zalto that's made by world famous sommelier who wins all the sommelier competitions aldo somme uh, and there are so many other great kinds of wine glasses out there what i recommend to you is to go to an actual physical store, gasp, um, like a department store or something like that that sells a lot of different kinds of glasses and pick them up, walk around with them, see like how does the weight feel in your hand and maybe they'll even have some wine there that you could taste out of the various glasses. So now, onto my very favorite glass that I can't live without and that I use 99% of the time even for champagne to pour to all the kinds of wines that I drink. And that is this one. I'll put a link to it below. It's a, called a Schatzbiesel glass and it is crystal. It's reinforced with titanium, which means it is very difficult to break. Um, even when my kids happen to knock over a glass or something like that, I've not really had many of these break at all. And the other thing that I really like about this glass is that it is easy to swirl if you can see it. It has um, a little bit of a bigger base here around the middle um, and that wider part of the glass allows the wine to aerate, especially when I swirl it. And I love that. And I usually just pour about that much in the glass so that I am able to swirl the glass right there. What I also really like is that the opening up top is not so big. What I find is that there is a big difference between the opening size in this glass versus this glass. In this glass, because the opening up top is smaller, it's actually much easier to be able to smell the wine. If you are interested in learning more about how to taste and how to smell wine and be able to get the maximum enjoyment whenever you taste wine, then go ahead and click on the link below and I will send you my guide to that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it with all of your wine loving friends, and that's really going to help me be able to make more free content for you. And remember to subscribe to my channel as well. The more I know about your taste, the more I can create videos that you are going to love. So let me know what kind of wine do you love to drink? Comment below and cheers.